A lot of you have been trying to kill me over the phone because I didn't make a review of the Gigabyte G24F. Here you go bro. Let me have some peace in life. We will start with the unboxing. When you unbox, you will see cables, cables, and more cables, and more cables. When you open the box, you'll find this baseball bat kind of stand which is very very heavy. At least 5 kilos I guess. Here comes the beautiful monitor. I'll show you how to set it up so you don't break it. Take these two points of the stand, put them in the monitor hole, and push downwards. They give you this screw, don't lose it. You take the boomerang, you put it in these two holes, and you push. Then you screw. There you go. At first I'm gonna talk about the height adjustable stand. I put my webcam on top of my monitor and I can adjust the height of my monitor with the stand. I don't even have to buy a tripod now. A wonderful thing about the stand is there is a hole which you can use as a cable management thing. You can put your mouse and keyboard cables through that hole. The monitor has thin bezels. It's not bezel-less. In the bottom it has a gigabyte logo which looks cool. The height goes up to this. You can either go too high or too low. And the monitor also swivels up and down, which is a very impressive thing in my opinion. The stand was not wobbly. Though the monitor was very, very heavy, the stand was very, very strong to hold it, which is pretty good. If we look at the back of the monitor, there is a gamery texture, which is pretty nice. There is one button in the back with which you can change your monitor settings. It's very good that they kept it in a very minimalistic way, didn't put too many buttons. On the back of the monitor there is a heat exhaust which faces upwards so if there's any heat that's not gonna hit your table or your hand. It's actually very hard to show how the quality is through a camera that only records 60Hz so you have to trust me on this that the colors look awesome. The screen size is 527 into 296 millimeters and the brightness is 300 cd per meter square i don't know how to say that the contrast ratio is 1000 is to 1 it's a 1080p full hd 165 hertz display which can be overclocked to 170 hertz the response time is 1 ms mprt or 2 ms great gray the viewing angle is 170 degrees which is pretty impressive for a budget king like this. The maximum power consumption is 48 watts. It comes with two HDMI 2.0 ports, one DisplayPort 1.2 cable for HDR. Also there's a microphone jack in the back of the monitor and two USB 3. Also it comes with three years of warranty. I tested the 165Hz, you can see the 41 and the 83 FPS are choppy but 165 is smooth as hell. The text were smooth as water. I did not notice any kind of jitters. Now for the main part, gaming performance. Nobody buys a 165 to type, okay? Only gamers buy this. Pro gamers, by the way. Because I bought it. While playing Valorant, I saw the colors were a little bit saturated. I'll make another video on which I will talk about if you need a higher refresh rate monitor uh, to be good at any game. On Apex Legends, the red colors were a little bit too reddish in my opinion, but otherwise it was perfectly okay. Gaming on this monitor was a buttery smooth experience. Since I was using 60Hz monitors all my life, my initial reaction was this is unfair. <laughs> Some people were concerned about the motion blur. I don't think that's gonna be a problem here because I didn't notice any motion blur or ghosting at all. You can change your monitor settings if you press the button behind the monitor. It gives you a dashboard, game assist, power off settings. If you go to the game assist, you'll see game info, game timer. If you turn on the game timer, it will show you how much time you're spending on game. If you turn that on, it's going to show you FPS in game. You can also put crosshairs. You can custom draw them even. So Actually, there's a more convenient way of doing that by downloading OSD Sidekick. 
which is Gigabyte's own software to change all the settings of the monitor. But the better thing is you can control everything with your mouse. So if you want to change anything, this software will help you do it. There are settings for different games. You can do esports customization, sRGB. You can do a reader mode, movie, RPGs, FPS. I currently run the FPS mode. I don't know why it feels crystal clear and smooth on my games that I play. There are hotkeys. You can use the hotkeys over here. There are general settings, OSD transparency, OSD display time. Currently I have overclocked to 170. You can change the resolution from here. You can do pretty much everything from this software. I want to show you something funny and interesting that you can custom make your crosshairs. You can come here and press on the pen. You can come here and you can draw a cr crosshair on your own. If you don't want your custom crosshair to be like this, go subscribe to the channel right now. Also, there is an option for aim stabilizer which i don't think works okay so aim stabilizer and free sync cannot work together also if we see the features that have been given on gigabytes website is 1ms mprt response time which is very very fast fhd with 165 hertz refresh rate which is overclockable to 170 hertz 8 bit color with 90 percent of dc ip3 also they talked about the gigabyte osd sidekick which I already told you guys. It has a game counter that shows how much time you are spending on your game and it shows you the FPS you're getting in your game. Also, you can put a custom crosshair like this. They're talking about the alignments. If you have multiple monitors set up, it will align perfectly. They have aim stabilizer. I don't know how that works. I I don't think that works too much. Also, it's flicker free and it's eye safe if anybody cares. These are the ports that you get in the back of the monitor. There are way too many options. So I don't think that's going to be a problem for any of you. And also they give you all kinds of cables for this. Finally for the market price, I think this is a bang for the buck. There's no other monitor that gives you all these features in this price range. Currently it is only 23,000 in Bangladesh. At this price range, 144Hz monitors don't even come. I was very very satisfied with this monitor. Alright that's it for today's video. If you like the video please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Comment below what you wanna see next in my videos. This is Mr. Stone signing off. Peace.